and welcome everyone to Talkin' Brick, my series on the channel in which I answer your questions related to brick things and we talk some brick. Today we've got questions about minifigures, set ideas, and a whole lot more. So without further ado, let's jump into question number one which asks from Angry Lampshade, what are your top three mega figures and what are your top three Lego figures? This could be a series, he says. Well, that's actually a really good idea and maybe we'll make it a series, maybe on the YouTube shorts. So rather than giving you my top three mega figures of all time, which I kind of have done in this video linked up here, which is a hundred of my favorite figures, both Lego and mega. It does change over time, so it's probably changed since then. But I'm gonna give you my top three Spartans from Halo Infinite, because I kind of got the Spartans on the mind since that brand new multiplayer mayhem set. So starting with my top three Spartans from Halo Infinite, they are these three. Here I have with me the Fred Spartan that Halo Mega made and also other Halo toy companies made for Halo Infinite that never actually appeared in the game. But I really like this Fred Spartan because of the blue coloring. The old Fred I really like and it's very accurate for Halo Legends, but I really love this blue color. It's more closer to like cyan color and it's one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love it and they did such a great job with this fig. It's really disappointing that 343 decided not to include him in Halo Infinite. It doesn't make a lot of sense why he's not there, but it's great that we got this fig. My second figure is Spartan Griffin from the Halo Infinite Scorpion set. It is such a fantastic Spartan because of how simple it is. I really like his armor. I think that they did a really great job with Mark VII in Halo Infinite, and 343 had a great design for this Spartan. It looks like something that could appear in Halo, and it's not so outlandish and crazy that I'm like, that looks stupid. And the other figure is one of the Trailblazers that came in the Halo Heroes series. This one came in one of the Halo Infinite series, and I really like him just because of the coloration too. I think the black wash on the white armor looks really, really good, and all around him the coloration looks great. Three favorite LEGO figures from the Empire specifically are this Darth Vader, the old version, just because that helmet, oh, I don't love the new helmet. I'm trying to like it, it's taking time, but that old helmet's just so nostalgic, it's classic, and I think it looks a little bit better. This Stormtrooper that came in the Solo TIE Fighter, it is so, so beautiful, it's very detailed, and I just think everything about it looks awesome, and then the cape on the back is even crazier. Lego just knocked it out of the park with this figure, and they haven't done something quite like it since. And my last Empire figure that I really love is this Shadow Trooper that came out in that Stormtrooper battle pack so many years ago. I loved collecting this fig, and it just looks so, so good. I don't think LEGO's made a Shadow Trooper again after that. I could be wrong, but it looks incredible, and I don't think they've made a better designed Stormtrooper than this one. It's it's so good. Well done. Our next question comes from Mega Bricks and asks, if you had to choose one brand to go out of business, which would it be, Mega or LEGO? And unfortunately, my answer would have to be Mega. The reason I say that isn't because I like LEGO more than Mega or anything like that. It's more so that if Mega went out of business, the impact on the economy and everyone else around it really wouldn't be all that major. It would be sad and it would suck for the people who are employed by Mega or who do things like I do and review this stuff, but the reality is if Mega disappeared today, Lego would still be around and they take up most of the shelf space anyway. If Lego disappeared, the shelves would be empty for a long time and I don't know what would happen. So yeah. I'd probably choose Mega on that one. Our next question comes from Party Goggles who asks, what's the first brick building set you ever remember getting? And I don't know if I remember specifically the exact set I remember getting. I assume it was probably like a battle pack, something smaller. But the first set I ever remember earning and like really getting was the Republic Cruiser from 2007. This set I unfortunately have in pieces right now and I think I lost every single minifig, but it is such a beautiful set. It honestly would hold up today if I had it complete, but it was a really good one and I had to swim across an entire pool to get it. That's a story for another time though. Our next question is from the C-17 Jumper, bringing us back to Halo Mega, and asks, what game would you like Mega to produce more sets on? For me, it's definitely Halo Reach. It's not the best Halo game, in my opinion, but most fans adore Halo Reach, and they love it still today. I mean, people play it on MCC all the time, I think probably more than the other Halo games, and it's one of the Halo games that's kind of been ignored by Halo Mega for a really long time. This trooper that I have in front of me right here is a figure that we've never gotten in the newer style and I have no idea why because the coloration of this marine trooper specifically is I think the best that we've ever gotten. Don't get it confused with the Combat Evolved Marine, they are different. This is like a trooper, a UNSC trooper versus a marine. There's tons of videos about it, how they're different, the troopers in Reach and the marines in CE and how they overlap a little bit, but this trooper specifically 
needs to be remade. Our second to last question comes from Jacob Ginger Hoffman. He asks, what line would you like Mega to make based solely on their minifigures? I think my answer to that question would probably be Doom. I think Doom has a really fantastic fan base that would love figures like this. And obviously it's very similar to Halo. I mean, the Doom guy looks like Master Chief and it would be really cool to see Doom figures because I think Mega would do a great job with all the designs in there. They have really intricate details that I think if Lego made them, for example, would be kind of lost with their minifigures, but Mega would do a fantastic job obviously they could do like detachable armor pieces new helmets stuff like that make it really cool but doom would be super cool to see in there mega's pretty much done every other thing that i want to see and cancel them like call of duty assassin's creed and destiny so doom's kind of the next one on the list and our final question coming in for the three pete is from go check yourself and he asks if lego did something like halo mega's energy sword or needle or what lightsaber or blaster would it be or should it be lego star wars kind of tried this already with the free gift with purchase that you got as yoda's lightsaber i think it would be really cool to get a lightsaber that actually has the entire saber not just the hilt but i'd rather have the e5 weapon the weapon that the droids use for one that weapon to me is pretty nostalgic but it also has really cool detail like at the end of the barrel it's very intricate and i feel like lego could do a really good job designing that and make it probably not stable but display super super well and they could even include a b1 battle droid with it because you know lego loves their b1 battle droids and with that question rounding us off thank you so much for watching comment down below your questions for next week maybe regarding things that fly whether they fly in space or in air comment a question either from lego or mega about something that can fly hope you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing have a great day and we'll see you next time peace